In the past 15 years, over 6 million lives have been saved through malaria control, thanks to the use of drugs and insecticides. But the progress made through drugs and insecticides is now under threat because the parasite and the mosquito that transmit it are becoming resistant. I'm here at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine to meet the researchers that are using innovation in technology to tackle this problem. So Resistance Sim is a digital learning tool in the form of a computer game. So players are placed in a fictitious environment where they take on the responsibility of a vector control program. They can monitor mosquito populations and collect data on abundance, resistance, and behavior. They can look at this data in the game and use that information to make decisions about what interventions they deploy. So Resistance Sim, we hope, will communicate best practices for insecticide resistance management so that these strategies become the norm among vector control programs. So, from serious games to serious cameras, I met up with Phil, another soldier in the fight against malaria. In Africa, the majority of malaria is still being transmitted indoors late at night, and we know very little about what mosquitoes actually do in that environment. So we um, collaborated with optical engineers who developed fantastic infrared uh, camera systems allowing us to track mosquitoes in a really quite a large volume as they try to feed on people protected inside bed nets. So we're hoping that we can identify behaviours which we can target so we'd have uh, new weapons really to combat mosquitoes and to keep protecting people from malaria. So people from all backgrounds are uniting for the fight against malaria. Could you be a part of the next big discovery?